welcome back. Uh, today's video, as you can probably tell by the title, is going to be a review of the Elan microprocessor foot. Um, and much like the other two, it'll be relative to the Kinex foot that I've already reviewed and the microprocessor, or the Empower microprocessor feet. Uh, so a little bit of background into the Elan foot. The Elan foot, much like the other two that I just mentioned, is a microprocessor foot, which means it uses an onboard computer to control resistances. Much like the Kinex foot, it only controls the resistance and the angle of the foot. It doesn't actively control the foot. It just controls how resistive it behaves. Um, so the, the Kinex and the um, Elan are very similar. The Empower is different because it has that active power input. Um, so first of all, I'm going to go through performance and then I'll go through features and then where I rate it in terms of my other feet. So performance. Uh, this foot really surprised me. Um, as, as the cheaper foot in terms of microprocessor, it is, it's the cheaper one of the three that I trialed. Um, it really kind of took me by surprise as to how kind of comfortable it was um, or just how well it performed, I guess. Uh, it's built on a very solid base foot. So the, the base of the foot itself, the, the kind of the ESR um, kind of backbone of this foot is a really good foot to start off with. So that really helps it along the way. Starting off with a good basis means that the extra controls you get from the microprocessor element are just extra help. Um, in terms of kind of walking and general use, it's got a nice level of spring, unlike the Connects. Um, but with that, you get slightly less comfort. So it's not as comfortable, but it is a little bit more, it does feel more like an ESR. Um, the best way I found of describing this whilst reflecting on my thoughts was that it responds very similarly to my Challenger foot, which is an ESR style foot um, designed for kind of running, but it's got the form factor of a regular ESR foot. Um, it's a little bit heavier than a regular ESR foot, but you don't really notice it. So, so it's kind of got that mix of good features um, for active walking. Um, in terms of comfort, the actual foot itself doesn't articulate too much, so it doesn't feel too comfortable. I mean, it doesn't feel uncomfortable versus ESR, but it doesn't feel as comfortable as the Empower or the Kinex, which makes it a little bit of an odd foot. So it does feel very similar to ESR feet, um, and it doesn't feel too dissimilar from the Kinex in that regard. In terms of walking, because you've got a nice solid spring in the kind of base part of the foot, walking feels reasonably comfortable. Uh, same with slopes and stairs. There's no real surprises, which is nice. Uh, in fact, you don't really feel the articulation too much. Um, and this could be because I'd set my settings up to be rather stiff, um, but because that's how it felt best to me. But because it's only got a small articulation range, I don't think you'd notice it too much. So it's very subtle, I guess is the way of phrasing it. Um, very subtle versus my Challenger foot, um, which is, uh, in, in my opinion, significantly better than the other ESR feet I have. So if I was comparing it to my ESR feet, I'd say it's great. As I compare it to the microprocessor feet, I'd say it's not good, but it's not bad. It's, it's kind of what I would expect for a base level foot when it came to the microprocessor sections. So in terms of features for this foot, it really doesn't have any. Um, much like the Kinex, it's an all-in-one unit, so you have to plug it in and leave it to charge. Um, it doesn't really tell you if it's on or off, um, which I found a bit weird. I just plugged it in and then unplugged it and walked off and it seemed to be working. It, there didn't seem to be much kind of user interaction with it. Um, I didn't know when it was going flat, it didn't buzz, it didn't beep, nothing along those lines. So I, it had no interaction with me and I had no interaction with it past setting it up in the first instance. Um, in terms of usability, the setup process was quite lengthy and it took quite a while and it felt very clunky. I kept, like A couple of times when we were going through the setup, it would just stop. So we'd have to start the setup again, which was a bit annoying, but once it was done, it was saved and it was set. So I didn't have to worry about it anymore. So that was good. Uh, it has no other bonus features, so what you see is what you get. It articulates ever so slightly, um, and it and it walks. Um, I would say the battery life on it was pretty good. Um, I could go two days roughly without charging it, 
Um, but again, I, I wouldn't know if it went flat anyway. So maybe you can only go a day and a half. Um, it was difficult to tell. Um, so that's something you might want to consider when purchasing this foot. Um, so that's kind of how it compares. Uh, now I think the tricky bit is the rating and the ranking. Uh, so in terms of price, the rating or the rankings of the feet go, uh, Elan is the cheapest, then the Kinex is the mid price, and the Empower is the most expensive. And much like I touched on in my first video, um, the kind of Empower is the highest price, the Kinex is half of that price, and the Elan is half that price again. Um, but for performance, I put it a second out of those three. Um, for my use case, which again is quite an active user, quite an active walker, um, I put it as my second favorite. I I would take this foot. I think price-wise, I might consider taking a Challenger over the Elan um, because the Challenger was slightly cheaper, even though it's an ESR foot, doesn't is not a microprocessor feat, and they performed very similarly. So, if it was me with my own money, I would choose the Challenger over the Elan purely because of cost and the fact I didn't have to plug it in. However, I don't mind having a form factor that doesn't look like a foot. So if having a foot that looks like a foot is really important to you, then this is a very good contender. Um, in terms of function and walking, like energy and ease of walking, it was a solid second place again. So the M power obviously first because of the powered push off um, and the connects last because of that lumpy spot in the middle. But otherwise, it performed as I'd expect. Um, and the battery life was seemingly good, so that's always a, a benefit. There is one last thing I'd like to mention about the Elan foot, which is it has a series of similar style feet that behave in a very similar way. Um, I believe there's just been a recent introduction of a, a mechanical version of the Elan foot, so not a microprocessor one, but a mechanical one at a lower price. Uh, that functions somewhat similar. So it might be worth looking into the whole family of of Elan style feet um, that are available because you might find one of those also fits your needs. Thank you very much for listening. This has been my review of the Elan foot. Hopefully you found it useful. And if you have any questions, please feel free to ask them in the chat below. Thank you very much.